Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to convert a file that you got from the infrared or the fluorimeter into a beautiful Excel uh, graph. Now what I've got here is I've got some sample CSV data. So CSV stands for comma separated values and if you were to just open this up, actually it appears though it just opens up perfectly fine on my computer. Uh, but let's say I didn't. Let's say it has no idea what to do with this. So you can open Excel and from here we then go File and then Import. Of course this may be a little bit different from on a, on a PC but uh, here you can see it's a CSV file. We'll import it. I'm going to ask you where it is. Right there. Get data. All right. And the whole point is that it's uh, delimited data. It's delimited by characters, like comma, tab, separate fields. So that's what you want. So you go next. And then the delimiters are basically whatever it separates it. Since it's comma separated, you need to make sure that comma is selected. If not, you'll have a comma in there. You don't want that. So comma, fine, next. And then this stuff is just blah, blah, blah. So let's not worry about it. All right, and existing sheet, sure. All right, so here we go. We've got some nice data. And uh, temptation is just to go take that chart and then random chart and done. And that looks terrible. So let's not do that. So let's go back and do it do it right. So basically what we have here is some numbers in scientific notation and that's that's fine, but what we want to do is we want to create a, a chart that will you know, stand the test of time and look very beautiful and is easy to read, more importantly. So, sure, we'll select these, these numbers and, and for this particular uh, graph you want a scatter plot. These are, these are for, for children and this is for scientists, a scatter plot. You go down here, smooth line scatter, and you click that and, and then you're not done. Uh, that looks terrible and it's probably backwards. So all the data here is fine, uh, but what we need to do now do is, is format it so it looks like an infrared spectrum, right? And the first thing that we notice is, of course, there's no reason to have uh, probably this giant peak right here out of 4,000. So what we really need to do is start formatting this, this axis. And looking at this, you know, the useful data probably ends somewhere at like uh, 4,000. Let's just go 4,000, all right? That's uh, maybe not, maybe 3,800. Let's do 3,800. All right, 3,800, great. And the useful data obviously begins out here at like 400, because that's what we see our first data is. So the minimum is clearly going to be like 400. And you can see already it's starting to look much nicer. Um, major unit, 500, uh, sure, whatever, four, fine, and crosses at 400, okay, and then because IR data is usually displayed with a, with a lower energy out here, high energy up here, we have to reverse, so we just flip it, Dunk. reverse values, great, alright, so that's starting to look good, now these numbers are still in scientific notation, and we don't want that, we want them to be in normal human numbers, so we go down here to the number option, Remove link from source because we're not going to just do regular numbers, and we see that you know it's got significant figures that are unnecessary. So we're going to go ahead and plop that down to no decimal places, no comma separation. There we go, looking much much sexier. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, now uh, you got this scale here, which is unnecessary, and it's way off of this line so let's bring it down so we're gonna modify this guy and we're gonna go over here and basically set the scale and what appears though this comes down here at about 80 between 80 and 60 so we'll just say the minimum is gonna be 70 right um, yeah we'll just leave it at 70 and the maximum obviously can just be a hundred alright so there we go this is looking much nicer right we got the data here. Oh, go away. Oh, uh, comma. Yeah. So we got the data here. It looks like a peak. A couple of peaks there. All that looks fantastic. And we'll get rid of that. Now we don't need this scale because nobody cares about the, ampli or the, the 
amplitude of the actual thing as long as it's not saturating so highlight and delete series one is a stupid name for anything so highlight and delete all right and then clearly we don't need these lines in the spectrum so highlight and delete okay and now we're almost almost home you'll notice that this is in big bold crayon microsoft fonts or microsoft lines so if we highlight that and and just double click it. We'll get back here and we'll see our line style is set to uh, silly. And so we come in here and what we want to do really is get this weight down and it'll give you a warning. You're like, whatever, I don't, I live my life how I want. And then it goes back. And now you really see the fine detail. All right. That's, that's really what you're aiming for. Your solid color should be, you know, uh, we're not in kindergarten. We go with black. And ah, look at that. That looks like data. Let's, let's just science is oozing out of it right now. Okay, so that looks all fantastic, really fantastic. Fan, yeah, it's it's really true, really great, really great. Okay, and uh, so now we've got uh, these numerical values, and what are they? All right, so the science has one font, and that's Arial. That's the official font of science. So make sure all of your fonts is in Arial. And make sure your your sizes are big enough. You want something that's reasonably large. I don't know, it's 14. Uh, that looks pretty good. You know, you don't want something too too enormous. So 14. Hey, that that looks fantastic. I really like that. It's really coming together now. And uh, you know, let's say you wanna you wanna box box this whole thing up, right? Make a nice little box around the whole thing. You can double click on uh, the data part right here. So you see how I just click there, right? Then I go. Click, click, and it's like, I want a nice line, maybe a quarter weight, right? And then, you know, make sure there is a line. So if it says no line, make sure it's, you know, black. And look at that. Ooh, that's fantastic. All right. So now, uh, <clears throat> to enable our, our viewers, our readers, to really get an idea of what these, these peaks are, we want to put some peak labels. So go ahead and try to find the maximum by clicking around on that. And uh, once you get that maximum, oops, once you get that maximum, stop it, somewhere around there, then go ahead and find it, oh, this is a little tricky, and then add data label. Now you'll notice this data label is not the x-axis, it's the y-axis. So you're going to have to go in, double click the data label, go up the labels, and you're gonna want the x-axis value, all right? Oh, you didn't. Let's go back here. All right. Let's try this again. Go in here. Double click. Here to the y. Add the x. Are you are you serious right now? Are you doing this to me? We had this all worked out. We had an agreement that you would not pick. So the issue is if you are off. And you, you want to, yeah. <sighs> double click, double click. You can actually just then uh, type it in, 3.3. .3. So that's uh, 3,388. Oh, done. All right. And you can come down here, find out what this peak is. Add data label great whatever and then make sure that's highlighted this should work honestly it should work you go get rid of that and add the x value hey that worked i don't know why that didn't work that, but that worked all right so now you got that you can actually go in and do this for real remove link to source make it a real number and no decimal places and no commas and that gives you that peak right there and uh here's a uh, ah, Probably this one's not a bad one to do. We'll, we'll do this one too. Add data label. No. Now, you want to make sure you just want to select one. Labels. X value. Get rid of the Y value. Number. Not linked to source. Real number. No decimals. Don't delineate. Or don't, don't separate. Yeah. Peach. Great. Fantastic. Then we just. I want to move these guys around so that they're under the peak, or at least relatively close. And, uh, boom, 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 boom. All right, hey, that looks fantastic. You know, that's a really nice looking graph. I think everybody's going to really get into that. 
Now, uh, you're going to need to uh, put some labels on these guys. So you go over here, chart layout. And we've got some chart titles and some axes. So chart title, chart above, chart title. What is it? It's the infrared spectrum of compound. Nah, I don't use a number. Whatever it is, you're just going to put that in there. Now, you notice it's not an aerial. That's not cool. It needs to be an aerial because that's the font of science. Aerial, right? Aerial. 18 is a little big. 14, yeah, 16, that's fine. Aerial, infrared compound, whatevs. Okay, now you go back here. And uh, we need an axis, right? Horizontal axis? Yeah, there's no vertical axis. So we just need an horizontal one. Little, little thing below it, great. Axis title, okay, well that's gonna be wavelength. And you need a unit here, what unit is that? You figure it out. Oh, ow. I'm make you do some work. All right, and um, again, Calibri is not a font. There's a font, but it's not a font of science. That's Arial. Or if you're really cool, you can use Helvetica. I'm really cool, so I'm gonna use Helvetica. All right, and we got 10. Oh, that didn't change it to Helvetica. All right. 10, make it, you know, substantial. That looks pretty good. Oh, that looks bolded. No bold. We're not, we're not bold. We're bold in other ways, but not in our font. And there you see, very nice, very nice. You can even make these a little bigger. Let's stylize it to your heart's content. Then you can turn it into a picture by uh, right clicking over this little blue bar or whatever. And then um, save this picture. Thunk. All right, you're going to pick PNG because that's a lossless compression system. And we're going to call it mychart.png. And we're going to save it onto my desktop. Save and poof. It's right here. And we double click on it and look at that. Would you look at that? Look at that. That is great. All right. And then when it's time to put things into Word, we just go. <whistles> Oh man, that was great. I'm just, that's how science should be. You shrink it down. You know, and make it like that. Maybe, maybe thicken up the line. You know, do what you want. Make it, make it your own. But as long as it, as long as when you make it your own, it, it looks a lot like that. Then that's great. All right. Yeah. All right. The